Okay, more new uh, comedic news from Michael Baxter, realrawnews.com. Biden body double blows cover during meet with Boris Johnson. So let's let's get started. I'll try to throw in an advertisement for my own channel. Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Arthur Roberts, the 83-year-old C-list actor who portray, portrays Joseph Biden on television and in person, blew his cover during a televised press conference with UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson earlier this week. In a stunning scene seen by many, Biden's and Real Raw News here on news uses the term Biden to stand for either Biden or his body doubles. Biden's handlers abruptly and seemingly without cause ushered the press pool from the White House briefing room while Johnson tried to field questions from British journalists in attendance. The, su the stunned press pool protested as security forcibly ejected them, clueless as to why they the administration's mainstream media allies were being rudely told to leave. On Wednesday, Jen Psaki, who is currently under military investigation, said the room was cleared because Johnson's questions were not pre-approved. But a whistleblower in the fake administration's communications office revealed to Real Raw News what actually transpired during the surreal briefing. And as a shout out to my uh, to the listeners who listen to my audio clones, if you want to, uh, don't copyright strike my audio clones. I love my audio clones; they're free advertising for me. Do not copyright strike them. Uh, if you want to associate a face with this audio, then go over to Tom Young John Three. That's currently in the future; it might be four, five, six, or seven. Uh, but Tom Space Young John. Spelled just like it sounds, one word, no space, Y O U N G J O H N, space, numeral three, currently. And back to the news. As reported previously, it is real raw news's contention that the real Joseph R. Biden has not been seen in public since shortly after the 2020 presidential election. The reason is that in early February, he suffered a massive stroke that left him brain dead and hospitalized at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, where he has lain comatose ever since. Biden's deep secret handshake state handlers had had high hopes for Kamala Harris and had intended that she would succeed him, but it soon became apparent that she lacked fortitude and the mental acuity needed to coalesce the liberal base. Much to her chagrin, she was put on the back burner while the deep secret handshake state sought body double replacements who could play a convincing Joe Biden. One such find was Arthur Roberts, an obscure 80s actor whose capstone cinematic achievement was playing the evil ninja Braden in the 1984 martial arts flick, Revenge of the Ninja. After that, he faded into obscurity, henceforth obtaining only minor roles in film and television productions until the deep state grabbed him as a potential Biden replacement in early March. Roberts, Arthur Roberts, no spring chicken himself and older than the genuine Biden, apparently has a touch of dementia which caused him to veer off script and raise suspicion in the eyes of Boris Johnson. In a moment not caught on microphone and spoken softly enough for the press pool not to overhear, Arthur Roberts began lamenting to Johnson his failed film career, and he asked the UK Prime Minister whether he had seen the films Little Miss Magic and Up in Smoke, in which he had minor roles. A theatrically masked Boris Johnson, our source said, discreetly muted his microphone and spoke softly in Arthur Roberts' direction, asking, You're not Joe Biden. 
Who the bloody hell are you? Even, even though he muted his mic, Jen Psaki and White House Communications Director Kate Bedenfield were in another office and, a, and able to overhear the entire discourse through hidden parabolic mics in the briefing room. They, how should I put this, freaked the fuck out. They began screaming into Robert's hidden earpiece to get back on script or read only from the teleprompter. That's when Arthur Roberts silenced his own mic and told Boris Johnson he was only joking around. But Saki feared the situation would deteriorate, and she immediately ordered the room cleared. Our source said, he added that a bewildered Johnson later asked Saki, what the hell just happened? And was told to forget the entire incident unless the UK wanted to lose all US support. So, love God and be good. <laughs>